Good morning guys, we have a message from the town hall here and it says, Dear Barry, that's me. I'd like to let you know that you've decided to start the upgrade of the Porsche Harbor with the help of Mr. Musa, the chairman and founder of Musa Investments. My mouse is being weird. I have appointed Mint as the project manager along with ANG Construction to build this project. Our goal is to allow the port to receive larger ships. I cannot wait to see the result of this. Um, please talk with Mint as he will have many orders for you. Gail. Okay. Sorry about my voice. It's a little hard to talk. I do feel kind of sick. Um, let me just restart this craft. Everything else I can do later. I also have caught another cotton llama that I'll be selling soon. It's not really for my personal use. I didn't realize that herbs grew here. Anyway, we have a cutscene at the harbor, that's why there's an arrow pointing out, and we'll go ahead and play that and see what happens. Okay, let's... It's Mr. Musa, Albert, Mint... Oh, I thought there was one more. <laughs> ah, good day. For once, Gale finally gave me a project with decent funding. I can't believe it! Albert and I have already drawn up plans for this port. We'd like to add a lighthouse, a warehouse area, and upgrade the wharf for starters. There's a lot of work to be done. Talk with him. He's handing out the commissions. Right, sir. Why don't you take the lighthouse for a start? For that, I'll need you to build a light source. Think you can handle that? Sure. Since we haven't built a lighthouse in this area before, you'll need to talk with the research center on how to build that. Alright. So, Mint is here, let's talk to him. Um, Gail told me about the port project. I won't have time for my naps if this keeps up. That's me, I don't have time for my naps because it's life. Hello, Mr. Moose's investment company has been involved in several of our projects. I hope you can see the worth of my company. I need to pitch him ideas. See you. Is ANG like his company or is it like a shared company? Because then it would have made more sense for him to say, it's our company, like Gust and his. I want to pick up some of this poop. There's an achievement r related to picking up poop that I don't think I have yet. But it's no big deal. So let's, let's go on and just keep up with this. Um, with this. With, with this quest line and go to Petra and ask her to light the way. Not ask her to light the way, but ask her how to build light source for a lighthouse. A light source for the lighthouse? This sounds complicated since it needs to pulse. I haven't really worked with lights before, so this should be fun. I'll get started right away. Can you please bring me five data disks to help with the research? All right. Oh, that should be enough. Thank you. I'll let you know when I have something. I don't really have anything else to do with the data disks that I have. Um, do I do want to buy... Where's Merlin? Did, where, where's Merlin? Merlin? Okay, I guess Merlin went out. I do want to buy some more apple seeds, build some more drying racks, and hopefully start like a production of that. Earn a bit of money as well. Money wise, we're doing pretty well 129,000. But 90,000 there is going to be Hi. the expansion for the lot. If the mayor got Mr. Musa to invest in Porsche's infrastructure, I think he might actually pull it off. Imagine that. I never thought Porsche would be on its way to becoming a big time city state when I came here. Same. Goodbye. All right, so let's go up to the church. Here. Ah, no, don't fall. Okay. Let's head up to the church here and buy. I might buy like two of these and I don't know if I have any of these. Oh, I can't buy it. And two of these as well. Because that's all I can afford at the moment. I don't know if I have a Cristela tree as well. 
I think I have these two. I might as well get one as well and one another one to plant it in. There's really not much else to do for the day. We just have to wait for the diagram from Petra, which I'm going to assume is going to come tomorrow. So I'm just going to, you know, tidy up on my, what is this called? My workshop. And then I'll be back with you guys once we get the stuff from Petra. Good morning again, guys. We're back and we have some mail, which I am going to assume is from Petra. Here's one. So we have a light beacon. Great. And we have commissions at the Com Commerce Guild for the harbor. So let's just clean up my invent inventory. <laughs> inventory. My inventory. And let's go ahead and check how to build this navigation light. Navigation light. Aluminum plate, we have these. I have a ton of these. Strength and glass. I'm on my way to making. Waterproof lamp is what we're going to need a bit more of. And since we're using the aluminum aluminum plates, let's go ahead and make some more of that. Because I don't want to like run out of things. Stainless aluminum is what we normally like have to turn into something else. So I'm gonna keep like one machine on that. This one when it's done will transfer it to hard aluminum. This lag is insane today. It's not that bad actually. Alright, so we have strength and glass. We're going to need a few more of these actually. So let's just go ahead and make 10 more. These... This is pretty fast to make. Strength and glass, I'm not too worried. I made some glass here because I was afraid I would run out of glass so let's go ahead and start building these because I have to look for the items here so the first one we have is the plates I have that in my ores processed we only need eight so let's shift into two let's, oh wait I didn't even start building it strength and glass 10 and waterproof lamp um, the strength and glass, is it in my inventory? No, it's not. So that means strength and glass is also in ores processed. No? Where is it? Oh no, I have to look for it then. It should be in ores oh, ores furnace, rather. Yeah. So that's kind of how I figure my stuff out. So we need an advanced engine and waterproof lamp. Let's go ahead and check on this. It's 8 hours for 10. So it should be pretty fast. Um, what was I supposed to get? Advanced engine. I have that in my crafting material. Not that one. This one. Alright. Perfect. So let's just wait for the two more. I have... Aww. Okay. So we don't have anything to capture, but I'll still like replace it. I think it's still pretty worth it. The golden ginseng is pretty cheap in comparison to what you earn, so it's like no big deal. This one's completed. These are just for selling, they're not really for me to use. For my own stamina items, I'm gonna use dried apples, which I have, you know, working on the other side of my workshop. Oh. Doesn't seem like Act wants to talk to me. So let's go ahead and check what commissions we have. But before that, ooh, Adit. Hi. Let's say hi. It's interesting <gasps> that the richest man in the world likes to travel alone. He must be very strong, don't you think so? Mr. Bye. Musa. Yeah. Or he just just doesn't have any money on him. Price is decent. Let's just sell these. Decent money. How much did I make? I didn't see. Whatever. It's decent money. Hello. Oh, there. It's gonna be here. Off to the right. 325. Oh, they said this Mr. Musa is the richest man in the land. Too bad he's married. Bye! <laughs> yeah, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and check the commissions now. There's a lot! Let's look at this D one. Stone table is pretty easy, I don't mind doing that. Igneous bricks are pretty easy. Let's accept that. Let's also accept the stone table. Not for the reputation points, because I don't need it. What? <laughs> You've never heard of Musa before? The Musa Investment Corp is probably the largest company in Atara. Uh, let's go ahead and see this. See? Oh shoot, he's catching up. I don't think it matters. As long as I'm able to finish all the harbor quests, it doesn't really matter. But also I get a lot of people asking what game speed I play my time in Portia on for these let's plays. I always play it at 100% game speed. Because when I started playing my time at Portia, that option to change game speeds wasn't even there. So I'm pretty used to this game speed. I don't feel the need to make the game slower. Um, but yeah, if it's relevant to you and why you're watching this, it's like... Yeah, that's the answer. 100% um, game speed and no mods at all. A lot of my earlier Let's Plays are very uncut. They're basically just straight. Like even when I'm mining, I don't cut it out. I don't. I don't think I did. But yeah. So what are we supposed to do with the light? Are we supposed to install it? I already talked to Petra. What do you want from me? Construct a light beacon. Okay, so we have to put it there. Alright, simple enough. Oh yeah, and if also we want to see, like, I did not change this at all in between. Well, like, whatever, here, this game speed is 100%. Bear in mind, if you change your game speed, it can affect some quests in the game. I think most notably is, not quests, rather, some events in the game. Most notably that one where... The day of the bright sun, where where gifts drop from the sky, so that's gonna be a bit like messed up. I don't know what else it affects. I've never tried reducing the game speed, like I said. Ooh this looks complicated to build. Impressive work builder. We'll try to get this installed as soon as possible. Should be a pretty sight at night. Okay. Hello, Gust certainly knows how to teach their piggy. Bye. I don't really feel like um, social. I, yeah, that's probably like one of the reasons why. Hi. I saw QQ talking. napping in front of the fire earlier. I'd say he has the right idea. See you. I, I don't really like focus on like interacting with the NPCs or exploring. Like, I I just focus on the quest and doing them like pretty efficiently like to the best of my ability and then if I have like time or resources left over that's the only time when I focus on socializing or focus on other parts of the game what's happening here why are they having like Hello. an underground meeting here yes I'm in a hurry to buy some food for Miss Ginger so it was only like 29 rep points for that. I don't know. These ones, I don't really want them. I think they're ugly. I already have some at my house. I'm just going to go ahead and sell it here to Polly. Just since the price is somewhat decent today. Polly, by the way, is a character that I, I don't know if you guys once play. I said I wanted to be the strongest man in Portia. They all laughed. Then... I don't know if you guys play you. League, but he, League of Legends, but he definitely reminds me of like Braum. Let's go over here. I think it'll be worth it just to have like an ad. Give me an ad space. Ad space. All right. And once again, we don't really have much to do. I'll finish the igneous brick and 
not today. I think I can do it today. I actually think I can do it today. I think I already have 10. So I'll finish the igneous brick and we'll call it a day for now. Or it should be an ores process. Yeah, I have a perfect amount of 10. Let's go ahead and hand that in, see if we can get another one. Well, let's see how much we can finish in a day, basically. So we have to hand this in to Antoine. What I might do is like check everything and just like keep handing it in. Like in one visit. Where are you? Nice work. This is your pain. Sorry, I'm, I just want to like rush it. I don't know, like pedal to the metal. Waterproof cloth, concrete, we can do that. I have concrete. 10 more igneous bricks, I'm working on it. I have concrete. So we need to make more concrete and waterproof cloth. Um, I only have one blender. So I might have to cancel what it's doing. Unless I make another blender. Don't know if I need it. Probably, I might need it in the future actually. Might be a good idea just to have multiple, like at least two blenders. Um, because this one's not done yet. Um, we need more igneous bricks, concrete, and waterproof cloth. I don't know how to make waterproof cloth. If it's made here or in... There's a waterproof lamp. So it's not here. I'm assuming that waterproof cloth is not there. It's made here. Waterproof cloth. I can only make three. And the reason is I don't have enough fiber fiber cloth. So let's go ahead and start making that. And start making fiber cloth. I might end up collecting fiber cloth at the end of this day with my stamina. But I do have concrete. I believe, and it should be in ores processed. Oh, I only have two, so I, yeah, yeah, let's just build another blender. That seems like the best bet. Let's go ahead and look for a blender. What do we need? Copper bar, grinding blade. I have all of that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get two grinding blades. Put that down there. It's copper bar and what? Copper bar and simple circuits. Also quite easy enough. Before I do that, let me just go to ores and put this in. So we need copper bars. Let me just grab like 10 of these. I don't remember how many I needed. And simple circuits is in crafting mats. That's not it. That's not it. Here it is. So let's grab like five. Because I might just make two more blenders. We want to be fast here, I guess. Retrieve. Uh, let's plop it down. I barely have any space on my workshop right now. But it is whatever. So we want to make concrete. Bleh. Let's make 25 on- and then let's make another blender. Because why not? I can- I can afford it, you know? Like, it's no big deal. Let's make the grinding stone- grinding blades. Wait, I need one more. My bad. And place that there. Retrieve two blenders. Perfect. What this does is just makes it a little bit faster, and I can keep one to like producing something that I can sell. I mean, I still have some pigments, but I don't. I wouldn't have enough zeolite to make. No resin is what I don't have enough of. Interesting. So I might need. So the materials that I'm like low on is fiber cloth, resin, and. Fiber cloth, resin, and hardwood. I don't have much hardwood, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on head over here to the tree farm, and we'll see what we can do about the resin issue. It's not a material that I did. They not give resin. Nine goals per day. Mm, 
and 10,000 goals. Can I afford it? Sure, but I still don't get resin. I think resin is something that we can make from tree sap in the blender as well. But all my blenders are kind of... I just want to get more ironwood is one. I don't need wild cocoon, so let's make that zero. I don't have wild cocoon. No, I have 400 wild cocoons. Rubber fruit, maybe. Let's just like make these like three each. I don't really need them. Um, hardwood is okay. Tree sap. There's a lot. I don't need plant fiber. So let's just make that like three. Hardwood is good, always. I wonder if I can, I can only get 10. Getting hardwood I think is better than wood because you can turn it into wood anyway. So I'll put the rest into wood if I can, if I can make it. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, um, also, the valid period is only like 20 days. Let's pay for like three months, whatever. <laughs> you have to pay for it to keep maintaining that, like what you want, I think. And then if you don't pay, you only get the basic. I'm not entirely sure, but I was like, whatever. I'm not, I don't want to lose it and I need it anyway. So I guess this is it for this episode, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and spend the rest of my stamina collecting fiber cloth. Resin's not super important, but fiber cloth is. The concrete will be done tomorrow. Waterproof cloth, hopefully I'll be done tomorrow as well. But yeah. Oh yeah, check how much money we have. 135,000. It's, it's still a lot more than what I need the moment as long as I'm above as long as I'm above the 100 like 90,000 I'm okay because I don't feel scared but yeah thanks so much for hanging out with me you guys and I'll see you in the next video let me know in the comments below if you actually want to see any specific content because the last the last guide that I had planned I had already made which is the Kinseed fishing guide and if you haven't seen the game Kinseed I think you should check it out. It's more like, I'd say it, it's kind of like a, it's hard to say what it's like. Maybe I'll talk about it another time. So yeah, thanks so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!